Welcome, welcome again to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, where we try to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. And right now in this market, everybody's waiting. They're waiting for prices to drop, they're waiting for interest rates to drop, and they're waiting for this election to be over. Everybody's sitting on their hands. Nobody likes anxiety. But there are a number of you out there that want to buy but just can't because we have an affordability problem. So you're waiting for the big ball to drop. And spoiler alert, I don't see it happening anytime soon. And I'm going to show you where we're at today. And uh, there's a difference between asking prices, what people are asking for their house, and the actual sales price. And so I'm going to go over some of those numbers here with you and show you what's going on in our market. Right now, you can see this is our year-over-year -year change in monthly average sales price per square foot. And it's up... 1.5%. Now, if I include the luxury market, anything over a million dollars, I'm going to select all prices here. So far in July, we are up 4.9%. So we're not going down. So talks of I'm starting to see prices going down. They're not showing up in the data yet. We're going to need some desperation for that to happen. Now it is slow. Look at this, our listing count sold listings down 4.21 percent that's pretty substantial but again you look at our price per square foot right here with both the median and the average and there's not much of a an alarming trend there and this is our sold to price ratio right here which is median and average so let's just go to average median 99.2 and average 98.2 what's that mean 98% of the people are getting their asking price out there, I guess. But let's take a look at this. Months of supply in our market has gone up, but it hasn't gone up by much. It went from 2.3 months to 2.8, but it looks like a big jump on the graph. There's 2.4 and we're 2.8. So it looks massive, but it's pretty low in comparison to other years. We're not even at four months supply yet. We did hit four months, 3.8 back in November of 2022 when you get into november and december sales get down even slower and uh and so it keeps the months of supply up it happens every year number of price changes per week have also started to come down a little bit now let's let's talk about what makes people make change their price and it's it's interesting it in order for prices to really come down you need some despair. I've got to sell. i got to get out of this. I lost my job. Well, GDP just went up 2.8%. So waiting for the economy to fall and uh, cause some stress, uh, it's not there yet. Maybe next year. But again, people are, are waiting. The inflation rate is starting to balance out a little bit. But our debt is still completely and totally out of control. But is that going to cause any problems in the short term? Nope. We can kick this can down the road for quite a while. So it looks like more of the same, my friends. And if you look here, this one really surprised me when I first pulled it up. And I've shared this before. This is list average list price per square foot under $1 million. And this is what people are asking for. And it has not budged. $256 beginning of the year $256 a square foot today what's the deal well people are hanging on to their price saying I want my asking price but I'll tell you what I'll contribute towards your closing costs and a rate buy down they're doing it almost on an average of $9,500 per transaction they're saying give me my asking price I'll give you this a lot of that going on it's a good time to negotiate if you're a buyer and because sellers have a lot of equity, record equity right now, they're in a position where they can do it. And they're competing with new builds. So if you're trying to not live way out where the new builds are and come in, um, people are offering you some pretty good deals and concessions to buy down, buy down your rate. So we're seeing a lot of that. But what we're not seeing is people going, I've really got to sell this house. I've got to mark it down. They're putting it on. If they can't get it, they're taking it off. Canceled listings and expired, they're running about the same. Expireds always come popping up towards the end of the month. They always tend to expire on, you know, either the 1st or the 31st. But canceled listings, eh, we're sitting at about 650. That's where we've been for several months. So nothing really going on there. 
although we did see an article by Redfin that said that there's a lot of transactions being canceled lately and that tends to happen like either during the inspection period or in some states what they're figuring out is people have entered into an agreement to purchase a house you got a 10-day inspection period they get a hold of their insurance company and say okay I'm gonna need insurance for this house I'm buying and they're like it's how much didn't anticipate we can't afford this so they're getting out so Inspections are usually where deals go to die. So if you are selling your house and you're listing it, make sure sometimes it's worth it to get a pre-inspection, pre-sale inspection, so that you can go ahead and make some repairs so that you don't get into a contract, get a, get all giddy that it's going to sell, start packing, get ready to move. The inspection comes out and the buyers find some things that just make them want to walk away. Buyers are picky right now. So if you're selling, be prepared for that. And prepare your house to where it shows quite well paint is everything um, you know neutral colors make sure your landscaping is good you know the drill those homes are selling 98 percent of them are getting their asking price so we don't have desperation currently in the Arizona market especially here in the Phoenix area we have almost normal our inventory is at 17,000 800 and it's been stuck there between there and 18,000 week after week after week our active listings are not budging why is that well again people are sitting there with their uh, with their low interest rate and saying well I don't I don't feel the need to move because I'm gonna end up with a higher a higher payment and here's where we're at with our listings they're just flat they're going up a little bit maybe a hundred maybe 200 listings in a week then they come back down but they're just staying here doesn't look at all like the roller coaster ride that we've had in other years and then you compare it to what seems to be the new buzz phrase in real estate right now let's take a look at what happened pre-pandemic which i get it you want to erase all the nonsense and so if we compare it to 2019 which is the green line listings came flying back down and that's before the uh the big cough and in 2023 they came up when rates spiked a lot of those driven by i buyers open door and offer pad but today we're just kind of staying put uh when i sit here and just put out 2024 just staying right there edging up ever so slightly so but nothing that's saying desperation people are listing their houses they have to sell foreclosure numbers pre-foreclosures they barely show up on the graph so while the market's not brisk, it's dead. Prices are holding up. It's steady as she goes. I expect this to be here the rest of the year and probably into 2025. Talk of rate cuts. The market's actually thinking that there's going to be three rate cuts this year. I'm no bond trader, so I couldn't tell you, but that's what they're saying. So they're starting to bake that into the numbers a little bit. We're running about 69 um, talking with Pat the other day on her show, he feels that uh, we might see numbers in the low sixes by the end of the year. So we'll see. Uh, inflation's coming down. They're doing very well with that. But the last thing they want to do is reignite it. So I think we're just going to stay here for a while. So if you're patient and you're trying to find some good deals on a house and you're waiting for prices to fall, um, you're going to have to keep waiting because we're not seeing it. And I'm not trying to give you the scenario says go out and buy now because prices are going to go up I'm just this is where we are folks prices are not coming down they're not asking prices are starting to come down a little bit but not much and most of that's in the high end so we'll continue to watch this and keep you up to speed and if you have any questions shoot me an email at rick rickhelps.com take care